ladies and gentlemen, today in front of you, you might have the highest spec, most affordable watch you can get for your money. This comes from Cadison from AliExpress. I will drop a link to them down in the description below. It will be an affiliate link. That means you can help out the channel. If you click that link, it doesn't cost you any more. They say I get a percentage, a very small percentage of the sale. Anyway, guys, this is their Cadison kind of, I would say, homage watch to the DJ. I think it's a pretty, pretty nice looking watch and the quality is really, really good. I mean, you're paying, I believe it's on sale for like $60 right now. It's a great watch for the money. If you're looking for something of that style, uh, it has some great specifications as well. It comes in a little cardboard box. It will come in your Cadison cardboard box as shown here. Inside the box, you will get some goodies. As you can see, you get a polishing cloth, you get your warranty paper, and you also do get a little uh, tool here to adjust uh, the pins on the bracelet. I'm not sure if any of you guys actually use that. And you also do get a little pin if you want to knock out the pins with a hammer. Um, but yeah, shipping was pretty fast, I would say, from China for free. Um, you know, about two weeks it arrived here in the United States. Now this is the slate gray variation. There are two different variations. There's a two-tone version and this version. Obviously, the stainless steel version, I like a little bit more. It's just a bit more realistic. Uh, but anyway, the watch is solid 316L stainless steel. Um, as you can see, the sticker is still on the crown. Don't mind that blue. Um, but, you know, it's a pretty decent feeling watch. It feels of decent quality. I was quite surprised. Um, anyway, 40 millimeters across here. We get 12 millimeters thick. We get a 46 lug to lug. So very nice dimensions, kind of staying true to that form there. And we get a slate gray Roman dial, uh, which is actually really nice. Covered by a sapphire crystal with a, as you can see here at the 3 o'clock position, we do get your magnified 2.5 times the date window, magnified date window, um, which is very legible, I must say. Rectangle hands, smooth sweeping seconds hand, and of course, all those numerals going around the dial. Nicely outlined as well. Getting in a little closer, we do get an applied Cadison logo there, Cadison automatic. It's obviously 5 ATM. This watch is 50 meters water resistant, has a pull and push crown. Definitely not one to take uh, in the water, I'd say. Um, definitely keep it on the land. But anyway, um, for the price, what are we getting? We're getting an automatic caliber, a sapphire crystal, a beautiful jubilee bracelet as well. The movement inside this one is the 8215 produced by Miyota. Most of you guys are pretty familiar with the 8215 by now. Um, this one gets hand winding, hacking, a quick set date, and even has an exhibition case back. Um, very easy. Everything functions really nice. Self winding. You pull out one position here. You get a quick set date. Final position is hacking. Your seconds hand will stop and you can set the time. Everything feels really, really good. Push the crown back down and you're all good to go. We also get that nice fluted polished bezel. I must say the Jubilee bracelet quite really, really surprised me. It's pretty decent quality. For the price, the quality is very good. Polished on the sides, you get those polished center portions and it's all uh, on a butterfly clasp, as you can see here. It is using pins, uh, which is pretty acceptable for you know 60 bucks. Opens up, as you can see here, and we get that butterfly clasp. We also do get an exhibition case back, as you can see here. If you wanna get a glimpse of the movement, solid end links on this bracelet as well. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty nice looking. I mean, for the price, I think it's pretty insane what you can get. Sapphire Crystal 8215, good bracelet. And, you know, a decently built and finished watch. I mean, the finishing is is pretty, pretty good. All solid 316L stainless steel here. Everything feels good. There are no sharp edges or anything like that. It's actually pretty flexible, uh, this bracelet. It doesn't pull hair or anything like that. There is a little loom on the watch. Um, there is loom on this marker over here at the 9. And then on the hands. But it's not too crazy. It glows blue. I believe it's some type of... Uh, BGW9, um, that's the only loom I know that glows blue, but it has a nice set of dimensions for, you know, for the standard modern man, I'd say, and uh, I think it looks pretty good on my wrist. As you can see, my wrist is 6.5 inches, and of course, it does fit perfectly. Very nice in that Jubilee bracelet. Obviously, if you're looking for something in this style, I think this is the way to go. I mean, $60 ship, that's a great, great offer. Sapphire crystal, automatic movement, great bracelet, legibility is good. The overall quality and fit and finish of the case of solid 316L stainless steel is very, very good. Now, obviously, if you're not one to like homage style watches, you're probably not going to like this, but a lot of people really do like it. Um, if you're looking for a homage style watch, 
in this style, I would say go for it. I mean, I don't think you're going to go wrong. It's a great everyday watch or if you want to use it as a beater. Um, it's just really, really nice. It has a nice weight to it at 124 grams as well. And overall, the fit and finish, I mean, look at the bracelet. It just fits perfectly into the into the watch there. No errors whatsoever. I think it's a pretty good deal, guys. Um, but anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think of this watch down in the comment section below as usual. I think for $60, you're not going to find a better watch with higher specifications than this model right here by Cadison. They make a lot of interesting watches. Uh, they have a lot of watches on AliExpress. Let me know what you guys think. Do you own any Cadison watches? I haven't had much experience with Cadison. I believe I reviewed one of their watches a few years ago, and the quality was pretty good, so I figured I'd give this one a try. Anyway, I will drop a link to them down in the description below if you want to purchase one after this video. Just click the link, and I'll take you right to AliExpress. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think. Definitely subscribe to the channel. I have another Cadison watch, which I think is even nicer, and a really nice bracelet, a dive watch, uh, coming up real soon. So definitely stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you guys think, and as usual, guys, I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. Bye.